Right, hello guys and welcome back to Westbridge Hills. This is episode 3. Now this is the second time of recording the video. Uh, the first time I recorded it, I realised I had um, I had no voice. I forgot to turn my mic on. So, I was actually sitting here talking to myself. Because you couldn't hear a word I was saying because I didn't have the mic switched on. So, this is the second attempt at recording this. Right, what I've done is... Um, because you didn't, under, obviously you could, I couldn't tell you, 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 I told you in the last episode that I did, that um, there was no voice, so obviously you won't have a clue what I've been up to. Um, basically what I've done is, I've been doing this map for the last five hours of constant sugar beet, uh, soybean harvest. Um, I made, a, uh, where is it now, it's going to be different now, isn't it, because it's, it's, it's all going to be wrong. Uh, I made 624,641. That was um, just over, I think it was 173,000 litres of soybeans. Got me that. I purchased field 17, which is the one directly in front of us. I've also added um, a sugar mill there. Um, I got rid of a couple of buildings that were sitting there and I've replaced it with the um, sugar mill. Um, so far I've put two trailer loads in the sugar mill of the sugar cane on the field that we got. Um, as you can see I've got the class harvester over, class harvester over there uh, that's doing the um, harvesting on the sugar cane. Um, I've reseeded field 16 with canola because I'm kind of sick of um, soybeans right now. I'm doing five hours of soybeans, it's going to make you a bit sick. Um, I was going to put the sugar mill up the top, um, just up over there, um, just up over that hill. There's an area there that's got a drive-in, um, an old drive-in theatre, drive-in movies or whatever you want to call it. Um, but I didn't have enough money to buy the land because they wanted over, I think it was just over a mid, just over a million something for it, a million and a half I think it was, to purchase that area. So um, the only bit of land I own really is the farm. So. I decided to take those two buildings out and stick our um, sugar mill there. Um, yeah, so basically that's um, um, it really. Um, I was thinking about extending field 16 a little bit either side um, because there's room, the headlands are quite large, so there's room to extend them. So yeah, so that's where we're at really. Um, my plan is to get this um, harvested, get this sugar cane harvested, um, and then hopefully we'll make enough money to buy field 15. I am hoping we're going to make enough to buy field 18 as well, actually, because 18 is quite large. But that's over, I think that was a million, uh, let me have a look, I think it was a million something, million, one million three hundred thousand, I think it was. Yeah, one million three hundred and twenty-three thousand. So it's quite a large field, that one. Quite a pricey field as well. Um, if I can purchase field fifteen or eighteen, and now that we own seventeen, I'm probably going to turn field sixteen, which is that one over there, that field over there, into grass because I want to, um, once I get the money, I want to crack into the start on the cows. Um, we did look at that in the last episode that um, I had no voice on. Um, the cow yard is 2,052. So it's 252,672. Which, we're not far off now actually, to be quite honest. I reckon uh, getting the sugar sold and that would make a pretty penny. Um, so far in the sugar mill I've put 200, 240,000 litres and it hasn't made a dent on the uh, fill level, level. So obviously that sugar mill is quite large. As I said, it's a modded. Um, well, as I said, you wouldn't know what I said because you won't see it and you can't near me. Um, it's a modded version of the in game one. Do um, sorghum syrup in that as well, but for that you need um, straw. 
it's straw and sorghum that goes to make sorghum syrup. Bit of an odd combination, but oh well. Gives another use for straw, doesn't it? So yeah, I think that's basically where we're at now. Um, up from the last the episode that you'll never see because I forgot to switch the mic on. Should have realised that on the uh, on the OBS. And I was sitting there and look at it and totally missed the fact that um, the mic level wasn't going up and down. So call it a blonde moment. No offence to any blondes that might be watching. So I've just got to find room for the other two, um, I think it's two, uh, find room for the flour mill and the um, grain processing plant. But the flour mill I might put on the edge of field 17 there, where that building is, if it's um, removable. Which I think might be a good location for it actually, right there. Uh, if we drive around the front of the um, sugar mill, you'll see that the tip bit I've put near the farm, facing the farm side, and the bit where you pick it, where it comes out, is facing the road. So I thought that looked quite appropriate there, actually, like that, that way around. I might even put the flour mill there, yeah, because these buildings don't serve no purpose. So I'd rather have buildings there that serve a purpose rather than ones that don't, you know. Or I could put it there, where that building is. Actually saying that, I might get two on here, because it's quite an open bit of um, land there. Or I might just plough it up and make it just one big field. And have the flour mill at the farm. I don't know yet, I haven't um, decided on what I'm going to do yet. So. It's going to take me a while to get this sugar, uh, sugar cane out of the field. So yeah, in the episode that you won't see where there was no voice, I did, um, I did um, cultivate field 16 and, as I said, reseeded it with um, canola, so... I need to lime that too, next, har next harvest. After next harvest, I need to lime that. Sorry for saying that twice, but I wanted to get right. <coughs> so yeah, I'd like to thank everybody to uh, who have not to, but thank everybody for subscribing to the channel and leaving your likes, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, within the last few hours. I'm now up to, uh, the channel's now up to 91 subscribers, so I'm just 9 away now from the 100 that I want to get before Christmas, so we're well on, well on track to making it before then, so. Thank you everybody who have subscribed, uh, feel free to comment guys, but um, be nice with the comments, won't you? a few comments but unfortunately I can't understand what they say. Um, I will be continuing with the live streams, it's just the videos are covering the periods where I'm at work. So I'm hoping to be starting work at some point this week, uh, next week. So other than that, I think I'm pretty much caught up with where we were on the episode that we'll never see where there was no voice. So yeah, it's just a case of getting this um, sugar cane out of the ground and into this um, sugar mill. I 
I have got a modded um, transport trailer pack, transport pack it's called, which consists of also load lorries that load the pallets up for us. Because I am hopeless loading pallets. I mean, if I was to um, do that, then I'd be waiting ages for me to get a full trailer load. My apologies for the sirens going by guys, I live by a main road and I've got both the windows open. I've got the two front room windows open plus the kitchen window so unfortunately you are going to hear that on the um, streams and videos. So I do apologise for that. That's something that's beyond my control I'm afraid. don't have enough rooms in the flat to, uh, to have the ability to have a soundproof recording studio so I have to make do with my front room. takes two sugar cane to make one sugar. So I'm presuming that's just two sugar cane, not two tonne of sugar cane. So as the capacity is quite big in that sugar mill, I should get this entire field in there. I don't know if you get another another growth after harvest um, sugar cane. Someone, a YouTuber that I was watching said you get three three um three gross to one lot of sugar cane so i don't know if that's actually true or not. so i don't know if this will grow again after i've harvested it or not i remember trying that on the flat map the first flat map i did and it didn't seem to uh didn't seem to grow again i have started a new um a new series on flat map guys that was a live stream that was my live stream was flat map and um, Bjorn and Born Heath they have been the two maps I'll be live streaming this one is going to be a series recorded series as soon as I know um, what my working days are going to be yeah, well I know what the hours are it's going to be 12 hours doing 42 hours a week, 12 hours shifts. So once I know what the days off are, I'll um, schedule in a live stream. Right, I will be back guys once I've got through some more of this film, so I'll see you shortly, guys. Right, hello, guys, and welcome back to this, uh, to episode three. As you may remember, I just did a cutscene there just to um, get that field harvested, which I've now done. I've completed the harvest on that field. I've returned the um, forage harvester that we had. Now I've just got to cultivate and reseed that field with some more... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to put in yet, actually, to be quite honest, in that field. As you can see, our sugar, um, our sugar mill has got uh, 2 million and 18 in there. And it's still not full, so you can imagine that's probably 2 million and 500, maybe. 2 million 500,000 litres, maybe, in there. That fills that up. But as you can see, we've got a fair, we've got a fair bit off that field. So um, that's now on and producing sugar. Um, so far it hasn't produced much because I haven't speeded up time yet so once we speed up time we should get a fair bit off that let me just switch my sound back to my headphones again because I've um, I was on the phone while I was doing the getting that done so right let's carry a crack on getting that to getting that cultivated part the trailer there for now Oh, 
I'm curious because I'm sure someone said you get three um, three growths on that, but I'm not sure. It says harvested. I don't think you do, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cultivate that, and get it done, get it seeded with um, probably do some canola. Um, uh, let me just. How much money have I got? Let me just see. Um, I want the. Um, I want the. Um, um, oh, I can't think what it was now. Grain mill, that's it. I lost my train of thought there. Oh, oh we do get money for selling them. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. See, there's no price there, so there's no value. 21. Oh, got a bit of money back for that. That's handy. So, got rid of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in here if we've got the room. Which one is it, that one? Um, hmm. That's going to alter the ground, isn't it? Let's put it in and hope for the best. Oh, well, it's not altered the ground that much. Just a little bump there. But we won't be going down there anyway. But what I'll do is I'll smooth it over. Just in case we need to use this bit here. Don't even know if it's going to smooth. It don't look like it. Oh, it is a little bit there. No, it's smoothing a little bit, just not up in there for some reason. I don't know why I don't want to do up there. But yeah, we now have the grain mill in. Right, what I wanted to have a look at, this only does, I don't think it does anything to do with granola, does it? It's the oil mill that does the granola, isn't it? Um, should know this by now, the amount of times I've used this mill and I should know. Oh, it does mixed grain. Oh, it does sorghum flour. So it does wheat, barley, oats, sorghum, and then mixed. So that'll be all three, mixed flour. Can we sell that on the map, mixed flour? I know we can sell flour. I think that's a custom um, item, isn't it? So I don't think we can sell that anywhere. No, we can't. I don't even know if we'll be able to sell sorghum um, flour either. Right, okay, anyway, that's not what I want. Um, right, so the only, only, uh, the only other option is the oil mill. So let's get the oil production in as well. Might as well while we're at it. I'm going to put that here, I think, the oil production. And then that way we've got our production items except the great processing plant, which I don't need just yet. So let's put in the oil mill. It's going to be production alley. That's the food factory. Um, I've got a, uh, oh, I haven't got a modded one, don't seem. That's the packing facility. Doesn't look like I've got a modded oil mill. Oh, that one I do. Uh, let's pop this in as well. Might as well. We've got all the others in, so we might as well put this one in. So, And I'm just going to um, paint. Oh, I can't, because it says I don't own... Oh, I've got to own a road as well, have I? Oh, okay. Do that bit. Right, okay, let's um <sighs> I thought we was gonna own it all, not just bits of it, you know. Oh, that's alright, it's quite cheap to buy that road, so 
Right, now we own it all. Uh, wrong button, it's that one I want. Right, so let's just finish sorting that out. Oh, hang on, it's over here and that. Lost my sense of direction then for a minute. actually using that texture in it for the road so if we try and keep the textures the same then it'll blend in nicely then hopefully so shouldn't need to go up the back there so Don't need to go up there really because we already own it, so. Right, so there we go, we've got somewhere for the oils now, so we can produce oil as well now. So, that's that sorted. So we've got the um, sugar mill, we've got the um, flour mill, and we've now got the oils. So we can produce, we can get production going, which will give us more money for our crop than what it would just sell in a crop. It's just going to take time to get um, it all running. So I'm going to get this field cultivated and get it reseeded. Probably won't um, do it all. Um, bore you all uh, watching me um, cultivate this field so probably um, get this done off camera and then when we come back we'll be looking at doing a uh, canola harvest so I'll start doing a little bit and then I'll um, end the episode there guys and then when we come back we'll be doing a um, canola harvest for um, making some canola oil I presume it sells for more than what the crop's worth I will just check that now, put it in, because I probably made a big mistake there, but we'll see. Canola sells for, well, at the moment, when's the best time to sell canola anyway? Granola. November. And it sells for 2,110, so what does the oil sell for? Is it worth doing it? Yeah, it is. It's almost double. So yeah, it's definitely worth doing, and so we'll get we'll crack on with that, and we'll get some oils made. Be the first time I've done um, oil. I did it briefly in um, the live stream I did on um, Bjorn Heath. Did it briefly on there. We need to. I need to um, get some money going on that and uh, progress with that. On another one, when I'm doing that, my next live stream will be on that. We're also I'm also live streaming flat map too, as I call it, because I found a better flat map than the one we were, the one I was originally on. So um, yeah, productions are us now. Getting some production going. I've got rid of the non-essential, the buildings at the farm that don't really serve a purpose. You know that you can't use. So I'd rather make use of that land and have buildings on there that we can use and we can produce goods out of rather than just having something there for just purely decoration purposes, you know. So that's, um, the sugar is our first production going. We'll get the oils going there, that'll be the second production. So we're definitely... Um, definitely getting further. I now own this field which is handy. So we're definitely progressing with the map. And we're progressing quite quickly now as well because I did that um, massive um, soybean harvest on field 16. Spent five hours just seeding and harvesting soybeans. 
and how sick of the sight as I was. So it'd be nice to get um, other crop in the ground rather than just them, you know. And then when we get the money, I'll probably get um, probably put some beets in the ground and we we'll do a beet harvest as well to keep our uh, sugar mill supplied with uh, stuff to make sugar. sure about the sor sorghum syrup because I don't think I don't know if I've looked already I don't think I can sell that on here oh I can syrup there's a syrup no see there's no selling points for it yeah there's no selling points for it so if I was to do that I'd have to put in another selling point I suppose I could put one up in the farm shop, couldn't I? Machine, uh, machine shop. I don't know, I'll look into that later on. Because I do have a sell point that takes everything. It's a sell everything sell point. So I do have that um, available if I need it to sell crops that we can't, uh, products or crops that we can't sell on the base game. I know some mappers have um, created um, maps with extra crops and um, extra production stuff. They include sell points to sell them, but um, this map's only got the base game um, products. Yeah, I think that makes sense. What I've just said. So yeah, once again, I don't know if I've said it already, I'd like to thank everybody who subscribed to the channel. We're up to, 90, as of today, we're up to 91 subscribers, so thank you very much. I'm well on, well on my way to reaching my 100 target for Christmas. I think I'm nine away now, so yeah, I'm well chuffed. Thank you very much. And uh, thanks for all the likes, so keep it coming, guys. Hit that like button, smash that, smash the subscribe button and uh, feel free to comment the only thing i'll say with the comments guys is keep them friendly so yeah my plan going forward is to get um filled 15 or 18 and then uh, purchase the cow farm and work towards um, getting cows I need to get the um, stuff that I need for their feed so once I've purchased either 15 or 18 I'll probably um, expand field 16 a little bit and then use that as our grass field where we will do hay and stuff for, to go towards making the feed for the cows I'm going to place in a TMR mixer down there once I've bought the land so that um, we can mix the TMR safe doing bales and stuff as as this is going to be sort of like a commercial scale map. We'll get the TMR mixed in a mixing silo. I know there is a dairy on the map, but I don't know if it's a production dairy or it's just a sell point to sell the milk. If not, then I'll have to find somewhere to place a um, dairy where we can make products out of.
IA traffic, don't you just love it? So yeah, that's the plan going forward, guys. Um, just all depends what we make out of the products we've got so far. Once we've got some um, canola in to make some canola oil, I'm probably going to put in either wheat or barley, get the flour mill up and running. So that's producing flour then. So yeah, definitely going to have a lot of products to sell. And we should be rolling in cash. Should make plenty of money to buy either field 15 or 18, or both. I do want the cow area as well, so just have to see what money we make once we start getting the first lot of products to sell. I say we because I like to include you guys in this. So it's what we would do, not what I would do, it's what we would do. So if you want me to have a go at doing sorghum syrup guys, feel free to leave it in the comments. If I get enough people that, that want to see me do it, then I'll do it. And if there's any other productions that I haven't got that you know of, I'd like to do whiskey production, but I don't think there's a whiskey from our factory out there, or if there's anywhere, to, if there's any cell ports to go with it. I'd love to have a go at making whiskey and stuff. I've not seen a whiskey production building yet. There is one on, um, there is a production for eggs on um, FS22 mods. Farming simulator mods, then should I say not FS22 mods? Because that's a different story. But it's a question of whether I can get the cell pod to go with it. Or somewhere to sell it. I don't know if the cell everything includes whiskey as well. It's not something I've really looked at. I know there is a map out there where you can do whiskey moonshine as they call it on Middlesbrough is it? But I found that map a little bit laggy. I don't think it's been optimised very well. It just seems a little it's a nice map, don't get me wrong, it's quite um, quite well detailed but it just seems a little bit laggy for my liking. I can find out whether there's a cell point to go with them. I'd love to have a go at whiskey. Don't drink the stuff myself, but I wouldn't mind making it. So yeah, I'm halfway through the field guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here, when we come back, uh, when I come back, um, should be ready for a, we should be at the point where we're doing a canola harvest, and hopefully we'll have some um, products to sell, so um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, looking forward to selling some products, we won't have any um, oils to sell, but we'll have um, some sugar to sell at least. Um, there won't be no flour yet because I haven't got the flour mill up and running but I'm hoping if we can get enough sugar produced it might produce enough income to purchase field 18 or even 15 because that's got some more, I think that's got sugar cane growing at the moment. So um, yeah I'm quite looking forward to seeing how much the sugar's going to bring in. I'll probably have to gonna, I'll probably have to gonna lease a auto load lorry for that because as I've said in previous videos um, me trying to stack pallets is, well, it's painful, to say the least. I don't know what it is with, um, with 
that because I used to be able to do bail stacking and all that in real life, but in this game I find it really difficult. I think it's something I think it's because of the depth of perception, you can't really tell when you're loading it onto a lorry, you can't really tell where the bed of the lorry is, you know. Because I've noticed some of the bales and that have a tendency to sort of go through the trailer rather than sit on the trailer, you know. to do bales or anything like that on this map, just um, selling the pallets product. When um, Attingham um, gets released for 22, I'm probably going to do bales on that map and we'll have a go at stacking and stuff like that, so yeah, that could be interesting. That'll be, um, well, depending on when it comes out, I'm hoping that's going to be another series that's going to run alongside this. So not we not only will you have the live streams from the two maps I'm doing on there, you'll also have this one and that one if um, if I get the time to do it. Obviously, I'm hoping to be starting work soon, as I've said before. So I don't know what sort of time I'm going to get to do two series and a live stream. It might just be the case of you get this as a as a series and then. I'll add in adding them as a live stream or something. But um, I should know more once I know what my hours are going to be and things like that. So. I will keep you all updated once I know more. So yeah, I'm not going to bore you with any more of this or the seeding, so I will call it an episode here guys, and I will look forward to seeing you all in the next one. I've been your host, Crazy Gaming UK, and until uh, the next time guys, I bid you all farewell. Bye for now guys.